If you're an independent artist, you need to do this right now. Check out what Nas is doing. Nas is selling 50% of the future royalties of his next two songs. He's going to do this on a new music investment platform called Royal. It was founded by EDM DJ Blau and raised $55 million in November with a lot of artists investing. Chain smokers, Nas, Logic, Disclosure, and venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz. What I would say, if you are an up and coming artist and you're not really fully established le yet, let's say you have like 100,000 followers or less, I would look at different strategies uh, for your NFT. Like, to, to, I would look at different perks that you could add to your NFTs. So I wouldn't necessarily say, okay, you only get like, okay, sure. One, one component is using, you know, this platform Royal and saying, okay, you get a percentage of our streams, but also think about it this way. You could also give a percentage of your concert sales right think about all the potential revenue streams you make as a musician and it's important for you obviously to have a system that audits itself and make sure it's sort of streamlined and and digitized that's that's important it needs to be digitized and streamlined but if you can offer your you know your investors which is like people who buy into your nft if you can offer them a percentage of your concerts, right? Not like in perpetuity, but you'll say, I don't know, you, 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 you figure it out, but that will give people more incentive to buy into you when you're a newcomer, when you're, you know, you're just starting out. I'm really talking about the people that the musicians that need capital to just start building something. Um, this is a good way for you to create startup capital, create music, have a little bit of buzz and use that as a tool um, to sell NFTs and you got to be posting on TikTok regularly because you can blow overnight on TikTok. You can blow overnight on TikTok. You see how those songs just go viral and these people become like become huge on TikTok overnight. It would be so dope if that TikTok song that has blown, you turn that into an NFT. What I think is really interesting about NASA's strategy is that they're not using new music. They're using his old music. And it shows like how valuable this stuff really is. But ultimately, when it comes to music, for you to make the most capital, like I wouldn't buy into Nas's NFT because to me, it's an old album. It's obsolete. What are the ch like? What are the chances that it's gonna get crazy streams? I just don't think so. If I even just look at his Spotify, I can see what his streams are looking like per month to give me an idea. Nas. So he gets about 9.6 million monthly listeners. That's actually a good amount. And he probably got a lot more because of this NFT. So it's probably increased. At the same time, I still wouldn't buy it because it's just not, to me, it's not impactful. I want somebody that's hot now. That's when I'm going to buy it. It's like buying stock. Like I'm not going to buy some lame stock that like was cool like a hundred years ago. <laughs> that was cool a while ago and is not hot right now. I need the hottest thing, the latest thing whatever is popping right now. Um, so that's why I'm not going to look at Nas, but I'll look at, I'd rather even look at somebody that's popping on TikTok that has like more streams than look at a Nas, right? And it's so much more fulfilling to like be one of the startup investors for like some, some no name musician on TikTok that blew overnight with this crazy viral hit, you know, and all of a sudden, boom, Somebody needs to make some sort of like streamline curation strategy. And maybe this is what Royal needs to do internally, but they need to, they need to contact as songs start going viral on TikTok, they need to contact those musicians, turn those things into NFTs and put it on this marketplace. And me as an investor, that's, I would want to buy into that. And I think a lot of people would want to buy into that and that will help the artist. It will help everybody and give them more uh, possibility for streams. And also, cause I talked about the music industry before let record labels having sort of like record labels, having the ability to push these artists on playlists. I think what Royal is doing, 
they are positioning themselves as the new model for a record label. Maybe I'll just make a video on Royal another time. But they're positioning themselves as a new record label. And I think they um, should really work on building those relationships. I keep talking about it, right? Building those relationships with these platforms to be able to just put a big name artist on, like on a playlist, all that stuff. Also figure out people's marketing and distribution. Um, and it just it kind of ties in together that way. That's that's yeah, that's that's really where it is. Because like I, I kept talk I keep talking about how record labels are obsolete. Record labels are obsolete, and there needs to be a new the only but the thing is that they've mastered marketing and distribution so they make like at the end of the day you think about the biggest independent artists that you know not as big as the biggest uh uh signed artists that you know not even close like what Tra chance the rapper um what's his name ross i mean they're they're not household names like maybe chance chance the rapper a little bit but the, he's not really a household name these are like the biggest guys that are coming that are independent right but think about it like the problem there, it shows that the problem is marketing, marketing, right? But if Royal could crack that code or a company could partner with Royal and crack that code, that will sort of help these, it's just kind of like creates another avenue outside of the record label that sort of could, has the backing of the $50 million plus whatever, $16 million. So like $70 million, right? You have like $70 million funding, you put that together, $71 million, you put that together and you can really do some damage with it. Solve some of the issues that the independent artists are facing, which is like distribution, and also build out something new and something for Web3. That combination could be huge. And you're going to keep making a lot of money with this because at the end of the day, like if the consumers want to buy into this, you create the next... Uh, you create the next sort of like eToro or you create the next fidelity but it's all music cuz i look at royal i look at royal and they're just not their user interface is just not getting it <laughs> they don't get it like they have a good idea a good concept but they just don't get it this user interface needs to look the way that fidelity looks when I look, but not as nerdy, but I need to understand the money when I look at this. And so I know that, look, guys, I'm coming here as a consumer to make a lot of money, not just to buy this artist. There needs to be some sort of fusion, fu some sort of fusion so that we feel like we are really buying into a stock when we buy into this artist. And it needs to be in your website. I keep, like, why am I going to OpenSea? Like, if you guys have $70 million, why do I need to go to OpenSea to purchase the NFT? I get it. It's going to be more available to the public and more people will see it if it's on OpenSea. But I feel like it's just so much more valuable for them if it's on their platform. I feel like I'm just staying in their platform and I'm doing it. I don't know. There's so many things about the user experience uh user experience design here that I'm just like, it's, it's a turn off. But either way, those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. My name is Kenem and see you next time. Peace.